welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. This week we're going to talk about managing your disk space. This is a question that's come up. Is there any kind of tool to compress or reorganize your disk drive on a Mac? Well, no, not really. It kind of does it as it goes along. The simple answer to that is no. There are people who claim you can, they can do some stuff uh, by buying the program, but so far I've never seen any improvement. The way the Mac operating system works, it's basically doing that work as you're using it. So there's no reason to buy anything. However, there's not really a tool built into the Mac that shows you how your disk space is being used. Now we'll show you if you come into a window like this, and if you turn on under view, the status bar, you will see down at the bottom, it tells you how much space you have left on your drive. So I have 422 gigabytes left on this drive. But it still doesn't tell me how it's being used. Now one thing you can do is while you're in here, you wanna see how much applications it's using, what you can do is you can do right click on it and do get info, or there's a shortcut which is command I. So you do get info and it'll come up and you see over here, it is calculating, let me move back over here. It is calculating the size. So it takes it a little bit depending on the size of the folder to calculate the size. But to do this through every folder is going to be very, very tedious to walk through and check every folder to see where your space is being used. So what I'm going to tell you about is a program that I use I have to go check and see what it costs. There is a cost to it, but it's rather inexpensive. It's only a few bucks that will do something to show you how you're being used. So what that is called is Space Gremlin. So you see right here, it looks like, it kind of reminds me of ET or an ugly ET. Uh, so right here, Space Gremlin, I'm gonna click on it. And when it loads, it asks me what drive you want to check. So I'm going to go ahead and check on my, my hard drive. And you see it's going to go through my hard drive. So there may be some magical editing here to get this to go a little faster. All right, through the magic of editing, it's done. <laughs> so what you see here is, first of all, let me notice that the applications, which took a long time to run, is 43 gigabytes used, 44.7 gigabytes used so on the disk. But we're going to close it down because what has finished running here is this program. And I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. And I should have written this before I cleaned up my disk earlier. You see I have 423 gigabytes free, but over here on the right it tells you how things are being used. So in my private folder, I have 19 gigabytes. So let's see, if you go up to applications, you can see applications are 36.6. Come down here, uh, you see my library has 13.2 gigabytes in it. So you can go down through and you can see all the different folders and how much space they're taking up. So earlier when I looked at it, I actually had a huge chunks of stuff that were sitting there from vi editing the videos. So I went through, I deleted them, and you could have been a better, before I'd uh, done this, I would have been a better description of how you can find things that are using up a lot of space. So this tool allows you to dig down in, say I wanted to come down in and see this one, and now you see it breaks down a little bit more, and you can see individual files actually in this case, in their sizes as well. So you can see this runtime folder is this big area right here, and inside there, there's libraries, and inside there, there's characters. So you can kind of see how it drills down. Again, this tool is not free. However, it's very inexpensive, and it, it's a very easy way to figure out where your space has gone, because lots, lots of times you go looking and like, where am I out of space? Where's it all going? And it's, if you do something like me doing video editing, you have render files that you never deleted, things like that. And this helps you find all those files. That's it for Mac Minute this week. We'll talk to you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.